a husband crossed the line when he left his wife at the airport. The husband explained they had about 15 minutes until boarding started and his wife insisted on going to Starbucks, which was on a different terminal. He told her she didn't have time, but she didn't listen. He waited as long as possible, but when the gate agent was about to close the door, he decided to get on the plane and the wife did not make the connection. Yeah, throw the whole wife away. First of all, he was going to visit his daughter. Hell no, he ain't do nothing wrong. Yeah, bro, apparently they trying to give homeboy smoke because he left his wife at the airport, bro. Man, clearly she ain't the one for you, dog. Clearly she not, bro. Yeah, she don't respect you. She ain't considered your time. She ain't considered the fact that you're trying to make this flight to go see your daughter, bro. She gonna prioritize her want for Starbucks over y'all catching this damn flight. You missed the flight. You're not getting to your daughter on time. I don't know if y'all had like shit planned, scheduled what, or whatnot. You got to spend more money getting another motherfucking flight because this heifer when they go to Starbucks and shit 15 minutes away when y'all about to board. Come on, bro. Yeah, that, 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 that just means she ain't the right one for you. She ain't the right one for you, dog. Like that's 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 like breakup type shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like like who are you? Really? You need Starbucks that bad? You gonna make us miss this flight? Nah, you gonna you, you gonna make yourself miss this fight. You ain't gonna force me to miss this fight because of a stupid decision your ass wanna make. But there's more to this story. I left my wife behind at the airport and I'm not sorry. She needs to learn time management. <laughs> Hold on, Starbucks is awfully expensive these days, but it may have cost one man his marriage. An anonymous traveler revealed on Reddit that he recently left his wife holding the bag in a skinny in her, and her skinny no foam latte in an airport departures lounge after she snuck away from the boarding gate for a quick coffee. Shortly before that transcontinental flight was due to take off, bro, I hey man, I, I ain't I ain't even gonna wish that type of situation on 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 myself, but it, it wouldn't happen. It wouldn't happen. But I I. I Ooh, I wonder what that conversation looked like. I wonder what that argument looked like. I want to see how it would look with her arguing her stance, right? You shouldn't have left me. You left me in the airport by myself. I'm like, bitch, I ain't leave you. You left yourself, bro. I ain't got nothing to do with the decisions your ass fucking make. That was a stupid ass decision to make to go walk to a different terminal. When we about to catch this flight, you gonna walk to a different terminal, bro? Like, how old are you? That's just dumb. <laughs> and I'm about to go see my daughter. Peace. <laughs> Catch the next flight. Uh, the shock confession posted only days ago to the Too Hot Take subreddit has already reeled in 8,000 comments. Many users were unequivocally supportive of the deserting dad who was determined to get to the East Coast to see his daughter at college. I know that's goddamn right. Even if it meant the fight of the century with his left behind spouse, the 47 year old man from the Pacific Northwest began by explaining that traveling with his 43 year old wife is not a great experience. He describes himself as a type A person while his wife is the opposite. Yeah, that's gonna be a, a, a combustion waiting to happen. I like to have everything organized and make sure that we get where we need to be early, especially when traveling, he said. My wife is the opposite. Very go with the flow, and we will get there when we get there. <laughs> and not when I gotta get, not when I gotta go see my goddamn daughter. And even with that, we get there, we gonna get there, bro. That, got, that ain't got nothing to do with your ass making a decision to go get Starbucks when we about to fucking board the flight. Like, two plus two does not equal a thousand. Like, what makes you think you go to a fucking different terminal? I don't know, you gotta get on a fucking escalator. You gotta get on a motherfucking train. You gotta walk, goddamn, forever, bro. Like, terminals do not just be dit, 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 like, quick. Unless it's like a little hunky-dory airport. But even with that, no, it takes some time to walk from terminal to terminal, regardless what fucking size the goddamn airport is. Man. The couple have been together for over a decade. So this ain't the first time some shit like this happened, though. Ain't no way in hell. This not the first time some shit like this happened. So, like, you've been here, you've been with her for 10 years. You've seen red flags and you've seen shit like this from her. So she probably ain't even that goddamn mad. You probably left her ass before. The daughter is from the man's previous marriage. She is now in college on the other side of the country, and the couple travel there as often as possible to see her. The man explained that the man explained that he had been on edge leading up to the couple's most recent trip because last year his wife antics caused them to miss their original flight to visit their daughter. See, see what I say. It ain't the first time. It ain't the fucking first time. So you gonna do this shit? You mean you gonna do this shit to me again? 
Peace. <laughs> Peace. They're not getting a divorce. It's just like she's going to have to fucking move different or just leave her ass at home. Don't take her with you. Go see your daughter on your own. Uh, she slept in after he tried to wake her five times and then decided to take a shower, make coffee, and eat cereal as he anxiously waited to get to the airport. Ooh, oof. Yeah, you should have left her there, daughter. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that, bro? Like, that's like the definition of inconsiderate, bro. What the fuck? You what, You see what time it is? You're going to do this, 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 and this. Knowing the fact we got to get to the airport, man. Man, man, y'all would have just left. I would just laugh. Fuck that. They missed out on two days they had planned to spend with their daughter, and he was determined to spend as much time as possible with his girl this time. Due to the last airport mishap, I wanted to make sure I told her we needed to leave extra early as to not miss the flight again, he said, noting that he still had to push his wife to move along. Like, something wrong with her. She got a condition. This time, the couple made it to their gate with some time to spare, which eased the man's mind, but annoyed his wife, who continued to complain about having to wait to board the plane. <laughs> couple made it onto their first flight without any issues and landed with less than an hour until their connecting flight oh so you had a, you had a short layover you gotta get off the plane got deep plane get on another plane like i don't and that's that's dangerous too bro like take taking this is irrelevant but taking having taking connecting flights with not a lot of time in between like you don't never you never know what's gonna happen like if your, if your flight's delayed you have a chance of missing your connecting flight like i always leave i always give myself like at least an hour and 45 minutes in between flights depending upon where i'm going you know what i mean the second gate was far away hold on hold on wait a minute the second gate was far away so the couple had to take multiple trains they arrived in their departure area with 15 minutes to spare his wife then decided that she wanted a cup of coffee but refused his offer to buy her something at the little market next to their gate insisting that she needed starbucks coffee a train ride A train ride away. <laughs> I'm like, hey, you might as well go book you another flight. Then you're going to leave. Like, I ain't going to force her to stay. Like, go ahead, get you another flight. You ain't going to make it. You know what I mean? I'm, and I, I would say, I would say, hey, if you miss this flight, I'm not waiting for you. I'm not waiting for you, bro. I'm out. I told her we couldn't do that. We didn't have enough time. He recounted remembering that his wife claimed there was enough time and would go by herself if he wouldn't join her. I tried to discourage her, but she was determined. She walked away at a brisk pace for her and said she would be back in time, the man said. 15 minutes went by and the plane started boarding, but his wife had not returned. I called my wife hoping she was nearby and she didn't answer. They called a few groups, then called ours. In a panic, I called my wife again three times. Finally, on the last call, she answered and said she was on her way. It was a long line and she had to wait a bit. <laughs> I told her they were almost done with boarding and she needed to hurry up. The man claimed that he waited at the gate until the crew member told him that the door needed to be closed in two minutes, meaning he needed to get in his seat or get off the ramp. He insisted that he tried to plead with the airline worker, but was told the plane could not be held up for any longer. So I boarded the plane. <laughs> his wife called him in a few minutes after he settled into his seat. She told me I needed to tell them to let me off the plane to be with her. And I said, no. I said, hell no. Nah. <laughs> hell no. Nah, nah. It is not fair to do this again. I said, I told you. I said, I told you we didn't have time, but you decided to go anyway, the man said. He told his wife to buy a ticket for the next flight and left to enjoy the weekend with his daughter. That, that's got, I know that's goddamn right, dog. That's goddamn right. And speaking with his wife over the weekend, the subject hardly came up, he said. I thought maybe she realized it was her fault and just wanted to drop it. Once the couple returned, he realized how wrong he was. We are now home and she hasn't talked to me since the trip over a week ago. Fuck her. And is insisting that I am an asshole, the man revealed. I stopped being the caretaker for my partner after the first time we missed the flight. Sit down and tell your wife that you love her and you cherish her, but the way she disrespects your desire to be punctual is just too much. Tell her that from now on, you're going to make separate arrangements when traveling. But no, nah, fuck that. It's, she disrespects your desire to be punctual? That has nothing to do with being punctual. That has everything to do with, I mean, I guess, punk, but, you, you, don't need, but you, don't need, you don't need to be punctual at, to catch a flight. You just, you just don't need to be retarded. You just don't need to be slow. You just don't, you just don't need to be inconsiderate and selfish. Only think about yourself. That's what that is. It's just her being selfish and shit. Not thinking about anything else besides herself. She wanted that coffee, and I don't give a damn about your daughter. I don't give a damn about this flight. I don't give a damn about us 
getting there, you know what I'm saying? And then I don't give a damn about the fact that I am late and I can't get on the plane. You need to get your ass off and come be with me because of the decision that I fucking made. Bitch, that she sounds like the fucking... She sounds she sound like a piece of work. Your wife is acting like an entitled child. No, we're not holding the plane up so she can get a coffee. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Hey. Good shit, big dog.